But joining us also from the bunker, it's Steve Goldman from PinstripeBible.com. And I want to get your thoughts on Ore Posada and you know, the fact that it is a question mark right now whether he'll be back at full health by the time spring training ends. Thanks, Bob. I really think that this reflects on Brian Cashman. Last year, Cashman chose to take for granted the fact that he had a very durable catcher, but an old catcher, and didn't really supply the Yankees with a strong backup. Ho uh, Molina is a great thrower, but he's not very much of a hitter. And the risk this year is that if Posada isn't healthy, they're back in the same situation again. And we should note that they brought in Kevin Cash, but he's an even worse hitter than Molina. So it could be that the Yankees are again facing some of the same disruption they saw last year. All right, let's get back to the bunkers. Stephen Goldman, what you got for us? Well, you know, for me, I was just thinking about, since this is the last show, how we wrap up the offseason, what it was all about. And for me, the really interesting thing is it was like the John F. Kennedy running for president missile gap offseason. Did the Yankees close the missile gap with the Rays and the Red Sox? I think you can argue that they did. But what's interesting is if you look at everything that went wrong last season, you can really trace the breakdown to three key areas. The Posada injury, which we talked about, Robbie Cano's long slump, and uh, the, the, the death of Melky Cabrera's bat. Now, the Yankees have essentially stood pat in all three areas. So if those players don't come around, then it could be a really interesting off, uh, season once again, or a hairier season than the Yankees intend. Fortunately, the Red Sox and the Rays, be it their shortstop with the Red Sox or their right fielder and closer with the Rays, they have problems as well. All right, Steve, thanks. Good to have you with us all season long. We'll see you again next season.